Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I am doing a get ready with me and in this get ready with me I am using a brand's makeup that they sent me so they contacted me and they were like hey we've seen your channel we love it we want to send you some things so they gave me a $15 budget um, and to pick three or four items within that budget so I picked um, seven makeup brushes like a set of seven um, a finishing setting loose powder and a liquid lipstick so this brand is called beauty big bang here is the logo in case you fancied it <laughs> so in the comments below i will leave links to everything that i've used in this video so if you do like them then you can go and check them out for yourself and i'm going to give you an honest review like i'm not going to be very biased or anything just because they've sent me these things so yeah i want you guys to have the best things so we're gonna test these out together. Like I haven't used the brushes at all. I have used this powder like a few times um, and I've used this lipstick once. So I've not had a big dabble, but I've had a little dabble in them. But I mainly just wanted to save the brushes for everything um, because I wanted to see how they were like. Okay, yeah, so these are the brushes. They're a set of seven and they're just so cute. Like. They're just so cute. So cute. And then the product that I showed you for the brand is called... <laughs> is a loose setting powder and I got it in the shade Ivory 1. It's not going to focus, is it? But Ivory 1. Yeah, it's just a very, very fine loose setting powder. And then I got the liquid lipstick in the shade... Shade number 2 milkshake there it is we're just gonna get straight into the video so i'm gonna apply, be applying all of my makeup with the brushes because i want to give them like the best testing they can get so yeah how cute is this top though it's from primark it's four pound and it reminds me of the sid and l merch beaut so this is the brush i'm going to be using to do my eyebrows it's just an angled brush here these don't have any numbers or anything just because it comes in a pack of seven i've never not done my eyebrows with the product that i always use so i've got a mirror just in front of you so i will be looking over to the side a little bit i think i might zoom in as well just to get you the best kind of view although i'm really bad at doing my eyebrows so you don't hate me and my skin's really bad at the minute ew so when it comes to my brows i literally don't really care what they look like because I'm used to having really bad eyebrows. I'm just going to warn you guys, my camera battery's flashing. So if I end up in a different position when we come back, because I know it will die and I have to charge it, then um, that is the reasoning behind it. But yeah, so I brought the eyebrows in just a little bit closer just so I can pretty much just do this and wipe away the extra now that i have my brows waxed like every so often they're not very good now they do need a waxing um it is a lot easier to do my eyebrows i don't know if you saw how much i struggled in one of my old videos it would literally take me half an hour to do my eyebrows it's ridiculous don't really have a concealer brush i'm gonna clean this brush up i use for my eyebrow and do it for concealer as well because i don't have like a thin one for it it's very good at being cleaned i mean i don't think you'd look at that okay this is gonna be focused on my face but you can kind of tell like just looking at it here i wouldn't think looking at this it's been used on my eyebrows very impressed so to carve my eyebrows out i use the um flawless chisel cheek contour cream highlighter it's not a highlighter though um from barry m it just comes like this it came in a duo with the contour stick which i'll be using later so you'll see it then um and yeah these weren't expensive and they're very good never very good at carving my brother what the hell was that was that a sheep oh you might be able to hear loads of birds i've just realized it literally is like half eight in the morning i'm getting ready because i've just woken up and i don't know, I didn't want to go back to sleep, so I thought, you know what, I need to film this video, so I'm going to film it. Okay, so I'm finally back. 
Um, I had to blend out the concealer because if I left it on how it was, we would have had marks. So it's been like an hour or so that my battery's been on charge. You can all the red mark on my face have been lying on my face. This explains why I get so many spots in this region. I'm gonna go in with the eyeshadow. I don't ever do really big looks of eyeshadow. I normally just do one colour in the crease and then kind of just leave it. If I ever do eyeshadow, like, I literally don't do it anymore. It's a sad situation. I'm gonna go back in with the brush that I used for my eyebrows and carving them out. Just because it's the only flat one that came in this set. And the other ones I need to use for other things. So I'm just using the um, same concealer that I use for when I carved my eyebrows out. Oh, and just so you know, the eyebrow product that I use to do my eyebrows, it's the MUA Luxe um, Power Brow in Mid Brown. It's like four pound, and it's it's good, you know. Yeah, I'm just gonna blend this out. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the powder that they sent me. Um, and like I said, it's very fine. Oh my god, just quick. And I'm gonna use one of the powdery kind of type brushes. So like the biggest fluffy brush, fluffy brush in the pack. Just to set the concealer on my eyes. So this is what the powder looks like. Like I said, it's really fine. Like, it's so fine, but it's nice. Like, it is a good powder. Um, and I don't end up too oily at the end of the day. I don't end up too oily at the end of the day. So I do feel like this is quite a good powder. Like, it's not the best one. Um, it's not like a Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. But for what it is, and for the price it is, it is honestly so good. And I do recommend it. And this brush is beautiful. Like, it's so soft i could literally sit here all day and just so i'm gonna try and use every brush they sent me just to kind of make it worth it you know so i'm going in with my soap does nails at revolution palette um and i'm going in with this brush that they sent me just to kind of put that in my crease and i'm going to use another one to blend it out because this one's not very fluffy it's more like a getting in there kind of brush you know so i'm just going to go with the shade here this is kind of like my go-to shade if I do wear eyeshadow. Just because it's so easy. And then I'm going to grab the other one, which looks like this. And it's just so fluffy. These are honestly like really soft brushes. And so far so good. That is literally all I do. I literally put a colour in my crease and just blend it out. And I think today... Um, I'm gonna go in with some gold. Let me zoom in a little bit. Oh, that's out. Where I have the little arch kind of situation, I, I'm just gonna put a line of glitter in there just to jazz it up a bit, you know? So, this is a collection Glam Crystals Dazzling Gel Liner um, in the shade Funk 3. Is it gonna do it? Is it gonna do it? Is it gonna do it? There it is. That is the shade. <laughs> I might just, you know, put this across my lid. This is literally the eye look that I did for my birthday. I was gonna do a get ready with me on my birthday, but we are like in such a rush. There we go. Just a little something on my eye. So I'm just gonna go in and do the same thing on the other eye easy i feel like this is going to be literally my go-to eye makeup every day just because it's simple those brushes are so good i was getting quite worried with this one and the blending one to start with because it wasn't really blending and i was like oh god no but then it came through next we're going to go in foundation i am going to do myself out just a little bit so i'm going to use my everyday foundation which is my revlon color stay for oily skin if you have oily skin this is going to save your life Okay, I go a shade darker than my actual skin, which I use 180 Sam Beige. I literally just draw shapes on my face when I do my foundation. I haven't used a brush for foundation in the longest time, so I'm quite worried. But, I mean, we'll figure it out. So I've picked this one because it's, it reminds me of the Real Techniques Expert Facial Brush thing. Um... But yeah, this is kind of more of a foundation brush. So 
just gonna blend it and see how I feel. If I need my beauty blender, we can we can grab it. I think I stopped using the brush because I didn't like all the like bristly marks that it would leave, like the lines on your face. But honestly, I'm just gonna like pat it down over it and hopefully it'll just disappear quite happy with it quite happy with it these are really good brushes so far like really good so i don't really apply concealer anymore i don't know why i just choose not to probably should but i don't so um but next i'm going to go in with the flawless chisel cheek contour cream from barry m the other thing to the concealer and honestly it's beautiful i think it's such a nice color just kind of put it anywhere you know i'm gonna go in with this brush here just to blend it out and the brush i use for like my actual brush to blend these out and like contour and stuff is my real techniques blush brush because it's huge like so it'd normally be like a brush like this big but gotta test ourselves you know mm. yeah i'm happy with that so I am going to go in with some powder now, just in areas that I'm not contouring, just so they settle a bit on the top of my forehead. In my tea, tea zone. So next I'm going to go in with my Hoola bronzer, just over the contour, and I'm going to go in with the same brush, because that's what I do anyway. And then we're just going to, just going to go with it. Unfortunately, I've hit pan. But this is only the mini one, so it's lasted me quite a while. I like getting minis just to see how long they last me. To see, like, do I really want to buy that? Do I want to buy the full thing? And if it lasts me a long time, then I'm like, okay, I'll buy the whole thing. I'll buy the big one because it'll last me a lifetime. You know? This side always looks a lot darker because of the blemishes I get in my cheekbones. That's why I'm always like, mm, really? But it's fine. For my highlighter, I'm going to go in with this brush here. And I'm using my Sofa Does Nails Highlighting Palette because I live for this palette. It's amazing. And I always use this golden shade here. Hello? Hello? Yes? Yes? <laughs> Me? Why? Okay. Where from? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'm halfway done from my makeup. Okay. That's okay. I'll come and collect you. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> bye bye. Just do my highlighter first. <laughs> okay. The good thing about this highlighter is you literally don't need a lot. So I live for it. Gotta be quick. So I can go pick them up. And I always put it on my forehead and just bring it down. So when it gets caught in that light, it's like, dang, I'm shy. She's shining. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so shiny. I always have to like move my head at weird movements just to check that it's highlighted. Bub, 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 bub. Okay, that is the highlight done. I need to go pick up my parents, so I'm gonna continue this video when I get home. <laughs> okay, so we just got done with highlighter, and I'm gonna go over my face again just a little bit more, just because who doesn't love to glow? Let's be honest, let's be real now. So the last thing I need to do is apply mascara, and then we are done for this video, and I'm gonna review the products like, like, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not good at these makeup videos, you know. 
I'm a drive with me kind of girl. And I just put some right by my eyebrow. You don't want all that. Oh yeah, the lipstick. I probably should have done a pink eye look instead of like an orangey tan one because the lip thing's pink. Um, I didn't realize it was gonna be like this pink. I thought it was gonna be like a nude. So I'm still not mad at it. Like I don't really wear pinks, but I can learn to love them. So I'm just gonna apply this. And it's so like such a bright pink. Easy. This is such a bright pink, like I don't think I would wear it that often just because it's so bright. But I can give it a go. It doesn't really match the eye look though. So, but I'm waiting for it to dry just so I can show you guys how amazing this lipstick is and how difficult it is to get off. While I wait for it to dry, I'm just going to speak about all the products. So first of all, the powder. This powder is so good, like it literally keeps you mattified and oil free for a good couple of hours. Like at the end of the day, you do start getting oily if you do have oily skin, of course. But if you don't, you're good. But if you're like me, you have oily skin, like an oily beast. This does tame it quite well. It doesn't tame it as well as the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, but it does the job and for the price it is, it does really well. That's what I'm gonna say. So, the brushes. These are honestly way, way, way better than I ever thought they would have been. Like I literally thought I was gonna end up with like hairs on my face and uh, they wouldn't be soft, but honestly, they are so soft. Like I could just happily sit here and do this. I'm gonna need to wipe my hands afterwards, but they're honestly the softest brushes you ever come across and my nails match though. What? <laughs> anyway, yeah, these are honestly amazing. These were literally like $8 or something and a set of seven. So good. If you need some cheap brushes to start with, <clears throat> here they are right here. These are honestly so good and they are definitely going to be used every day. I can tell you that for sure. This one for foundation is actually really good because it's not like hard and it's still got a bit of like movement kind of thing to it, do you know what I mean? And it just gets there and it's just pretty good. I might be going back to a brush kind of girl. Um, my eyebrows are never good but the brush is actually quite good. Um, here's the little thing. I feel like I get a bit more control with a smaller brush because the one I have now is quite thick and wide. But with my eyebrows we kind of just ignore them. We kind of just stick them on. And that's it, it's done. But yeah, the brushes are amazing. Then this little liquid lipstick, let me give you a tutorial. <laughs> a tutorial look, like, I can literally wipe it. Nothing. Let me show you me trying to get it off, because it's, I didn't try and get it off with makeup remover, so this is going to be a first for me. Last time I tried to get it off, I was at work or in the car, I can't remember. I think I was in the car going to work. And I had to wipe off a tissue, because I just really didn't like the colour on me that day. So... We'll see where I shall, but literally, it's one of the hardest things for me. Like, it's no fault of the brand, um, me having the wrong colour. Like, I picked the colour myself. I just thought it was more new from the picture. Um, but yeah, that's just me, like, misguiding it kind of thing. Like, misreading the image. Like, I'm still so grateful for sending this. Like, for getting sent these things. Like, it is incredible to think that a brand has reached out to me, little old me, and offered to send me some things for free just for me to review. It's honestly mind blowing. And I'm honestly so, so grateful that they asked me to do this. I can't believe it. Absolutely crazy. They also, guys, did give me a discount code. I completely forgot. So, if you want some very affordable makeup and you need some makeup brushes, head over to the website. I will leave my link down below, the link down below and my discount code down below, but it's also gonna be on the screen somewhere now. There we go. It's finally off. It just, I think it's so good, although it just takes a while, but I mean, that's a good sign that it's a good liquid lipstick, you know? So I have a 10% discount code. The code is MOLX with all capital letters and 10 at the end. So, 
hit it up because they are offering something exciting. So if my code is used six times, um, they are going to do a sponsor, like they're going to sponsor me a giveaway for you guys. So if you guys, six of you, I have like 2,000 subscribers right now, six of you guys go across to the website, just buy something, use my discount code, save yourself some dollar, because why not? And um, they will do me a sponsor giveaway for either my Instagram or my YouTube. You guys can decide if you want to. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. So, hit their website up because their products are amazing for the prices that they are. Honestly, insane. Can't believe, like, can't believe everything. Like, the brushes are mine is blown so yeah guys that is the end of this video if you did enjoy it then give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you want to i mean you don't have to i would love you to stay and join me again in the next video but you know you don't have to stay it's fine i won't hold a grudge so yeah guys that is the end and i will see you next time with another video bye